بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Assalamu alaikum hi guys welcome to another knowledge sharing video related to master k 120s programmable logic controller manufactured by ls this plc need 100 to 240 volts ac power supply which is easily available this is small plc integrated with io or input outputs and can be programmed with simple ladder logic in this video i will show you how to connect your programming device like laptop or pc to master k 120s plc all versions of master k plc like 80s and 100s has same communication procedure okay let's start without wasting time it has two types of communication ports one is rs232 and second is rs485 Here we will use RS232 communication port. For this purpose we need following components and software tools. Number 1 RS232 9 pin cross communication cable. If you have straight RS232 communication cable then you have to use this mini gender changer to convert straight cable to cross RS232 cable. If your programming device doesn't have serial port then you need USB to serial adapter. For programming purpose we will use KGL Win software which you can download from LSIS website. Ok now connect RS232 communication cable to RS232 port of PLC. Make sure PLC powered on and selector switch should be at center where PAU slash REM is written which is program mode. Here I have straight RS232 cable and I am using mini gender changer to convert it to cross RS232 cable. I don't have serial port in my programming laptop so I am using USB to serial adapter for communication. Ok now start KGL Win software. Currently there is no any project open. First I will configure RS232 connection. For this purpose click on project menu then click on options menu options window will appear with three tabs click on connection option tab in method of connection select rs232c and in communication port select the com port where you have connected usb to serial adapter if you don't know at which port usb to serial adapter connected then don't worry you can get it through device manager Go to device manager, click on ports arrow, in drop down you can see USB to serial cable connected to COM4. Minimize the device manager, go back to options window in KGL Win software and select COM4 in, in communication port option and select local in depth of connection option, then click OK. But nothing special happened, still most of buttons are deactive, to make them active you need to create new project. Click on the project menu then click on new project, select blank project and click ok. Then project property window will open, select model of your PLC, in this case it is MK120S, keep programming language ladder, enter title, company, author and description of your project and click ok. New project will open with empty program, maximize the program window. You can see some buttons are active now. Click to the connect button to connect to the PLC. Downside in message window you can see message connected with PLC. In status bar you can see status local slash 120s slash remote run which means the KGL win connection successfully established with the PLC. 
Now we will read or upload the PLC program. For this purpose, go to online menu and click on read KGL Win PLC menu. Upload from PLC window will appear. Make sure both parameters and program options are checked, then click OK. Warning message will appear, don't worry about it. Click OK to continue. Then program start to upload to KGL Win. Program uploaded, successfully message will appear, click OK. You can see program written in letter logic contains IO addresses and parameters. In program window, you can see complete letter logic and in parameter window, you can find different parameters. But variable and comment window is empty. Variable and comment is same as symbol table where you can assign symbolic name and comments to your input and outputs addresses. And last window is monitor window to monitor input and output status. Currently it is also empty, no problem, you can add any time input and output addresses which you want to monitor. Now go back to program window, make sure PLC is connected and in run mode, then click to monitor button to monitor online program. You can see status of all relays and contacts. Blue color represents that the contact or relay is active. Addresses beginning with letter P represents the physical input-output connections of PLC. These are printed on terminal of PLC. Letter M represents the memory bit. These are virtual relays and their contacts. In KGL Win software, physical addresses known as devices. By these devices, you cannot understand the behavior of program. In this PLC, when you download program, it will only accept the program logic and related parameters. Variable and comments will not transfer to PLC. Dot of PLCs have this common issue. So it is better use actual program to connect to PLC because it contains variable and comments table which helps to understand the logic. I will close this uploaded program without saving. If you want to save, you can. Now I will open the original program which has variable and comments table. For this, go to project and click on the open project. Choose the project file and click open. Maximize the program window. You can see it has complete program parameters as well as variable and comments table with the required symbolic name and comments. Monitor window still empty but don't worry it is easy to create. Scroll down to confirm that it has all defined variables with comments. Go again to program window then go to view menu currently program shows the device names. Again go to view menu then click on variable name. Now you can see device names replaced with variable names. Again go to view menu and click on device plus variable name. Now you can see both device name and variable names together in program. Scroll down to confirm that all addresses replaced with device and variable names. Again go to view menu, this time click on device plus comment. And now you can see device names with comments as you mentioned in variable and comment table. You can use buttons in toolbar to switch between device names, variable names, device plus variable names and device plus comments. I prefer device plus variable names. Now connect to PLC by click on connect button. You can see connected to PLC message in message window. Now better to perform verification of your program. It should be same as downloaded in PLC. For this purpose, make sure PLC is in run mode, go to online menu, then click on verify. Make sure program and parameters options are checked, then click OK. This will perform program and parameters verifications.
then message of successful verification will appear. Click OK. You can stop and run PLC by using buttons in toolbar. By click stop and run button, you can observe status of LED on PLC panel. Now click on monitor button to monitor online logic. You can see the status of contacts and relays. Blue color indicates active status of contact or relay. Okay guys, hope this video is useful for you and you can confidently connect, download and monitor your PLC logic. In next video, we will discuss that how to force input and output of this PLC. Inshallah, see you again in next video. Till that time, Allah Hafiz, Maas Salaam, Bye Bye.